It's an Adidas kind of day. All right, I sent out a message on Instagram a couple days ago saying, I'm not giving up on Adidas in 2020. Uh, you know, as far as as far as marathon training and racing shoes go, it globally it goes Nike and then it's Adidas. So I know a lot of people love Adidas running shoes. These are the Boston Marathon editions. It's kind of crazy that Boston is not happening in two weeks from now. It's going to be happening hopefully in September. So, but these are the Boston Marathon editions from Adidas. They're looking amazing, and the Boost midsole material is not at the top of my list for. Uh, material used in midsoles, uh, you know, ac across the running shoe landscape. But again, I'm willing to keep trying, keep uh, figuring out what is the ticket for the Adidas lineup. So here are the Boston Nines. These are the Boston Nines. Let's lace up for a long run. All right, I'll get you my thoughts. Oh, back there in a minute in the studio. <laughs> Okay, here we go. in the Boston Nines, my first impression, full review after 50 miles. And I'll say right now, I do believe we're gonna get this shoe to 50 miles. And after today's uh, run, I'll get you the stats in a second, is that I think I have this shoe pretty dialed in as far as how I will be using it moving forward and how it could work into your running shoe rotation as well. Moving forward, in case you don't own it yet, although I bet many of you, uh, I know there's a lot of Adidas Boston fans out there. I hear it in the comments. I hear it on Strava. So finally, I'm working the Boston into the running shoe rotation. And today's run, 20 miles, last long run of the training block, except for the COVID-19 relief uh, run around the track. I'll be doing that on Wednesday. Who knows how long I will run on Wednesday, but this is the last long run of the training block before the marathon, the DGR virtual marathon. I'll just give a shout out again. The link to register is down below in case you'd like to register for a 5K virtual 5K, 10K half marathon or marathon. It'll be down below in the description. Okay, so the Boston Nine, uh, let's see. Uh, so 20 miles, 655 a mile today uh, through the streets of Denver. And let's jump into a few stats real quick. So 10 millimeter drop. I, I, I don't mind a 10 millimeter drop, especially for racing shoes, okay? So we're looking at 26 millimeter in the heel, 16 in the forefoot, and on your screen is what it is in my sizing. So about, about two millimeters less for a smaller size. So a 10 millimeter drop for the Boston 9. And that's it definitely in the medium to low category for stack height through that boost midsole, okay? For the weight, we are looking at 8.4 ounces in men's size nine, and there it is in grams, or 7.8 ounces in women's size eight, and there it is on your screen for my size. For this upper, it's a dual layer uh, stretchable mesh, dual layer stretchable mesh with, yes, a gusseted tongue. I love those gusseted tongues that are connected to. So this is the, the tongue of the shoe. And on this one, it says Adidas. On the other one, it says uh, Boston Athletic Association. I just love the overall design, like how much shout out they're giving to the Boston Marathon, even though it is postponed in 2020, which is very interesting. But this is a gusseted tongue, which means the tongue is connected to the outer wall of the upper. Uh, the upper, incredibly comfortable sliding onto my foot. Now, I have not tried the Audios 5 yet. It is inside the house, but the Audios 4 from 2019, I must say the upper material in the Boston is a lot more comfortable than this Audios 4. Again, I haven't tried the Audios 5 out yet. Just wanted to put that out there for you. So overall, oh yeah, I wanted to mention the, uh, the heel counter is pretty solid, more uh, stout than I expected. 
for a neutral road racing shoe. I expected the, the heel counter to be a little more flexible, but sure enough, there's some pretty good structure built into that heel counter, which it felt fine today. No issues with rubbing on my blister. The blister is healing up, which is nice. Um, so overall, very pleased. Oh yeah, one little situation um, through the eyelet chain. I'm gonna have to work on lacing up the eyelet chain. I felt, I felt locked in, but I think I could get a little more uh, dialed in with my lacing. I just noticed about, I don't know, two miles in, like I, I wish I would have laced up maybe just a little bit tighter uh, through that eyelet chain today. And yes, it has this higher density, light strike, um, rubber, uh, I, I don't want to call it a roll bar, but it's basically a little piece of rubber just to give a little more structure between the upper and the midsole, this boost midsole right here. It's as red, you can see it on your screen right now. It's called the Light Strike, and it just helps give a little more structure to the overall shoe. Now I'll come back to the midsole in a second as far as how it performed today. And on that outsole of the Boston 9, it's that continental rubber, which has been stretched out into this web-like pattern uh, to help save weight, but also to help uh, increase the, I'm gonna say like the longevity of the shoe I think you're gonna be able to get at least 400 miles out of the Boston 9, uh, just based on that continental rubber. Now, I don't know how long the boost midsole will, how, how resilient that boost midsole will be. If it'll go past 400 miles, I'm not sure, but as far as the outsole, I think it's built for the long haul, long haul absolutely. And then this, this gray bar on the bottom of the shoe is the torsion system that Adidas has placed into many of their uh, road racing shoes these days, just to help, again, give a little more structure and resiliency to the shoe like if we do the well let's do the twist test oh yeah definitely neutral very neutral but also this way like i can't bend the shoe completely in half but there is just just because of that torsion system built into the outsole there that gray bar and i it's a basically a piece of plastic that's shaped in the uh gosh i don't know yeah it's, it looks almost like a figure eight uh shape uh, to help again give a little structure there now moving on to the fit and the comfort so fit here's something to really note I think I could have gone a half size down, absolutely. Especially if I was racing in this shoe, and I'll come back to the racing point in a minute. I almost wish I would have. A little too much room for my liking through the toe box, okay? But it's gonna work. But I must say, I think I personally would have gone a half size down. Also, uh, compared to the Boston 8, the 2019 iteration, uh, this Boston 9 is just a little wider through the midfoot, okay? So keep that in mind as well. So if you like a shoe that has just a little more width to it, the Boston 9 might work out for you for, uh, for comfort. Here we go. I don't know. This might actually, let's just go there. The positive for the Boston 9, the comfort of the upper. Immediately noticed it, putting the shoe on, out there on the run today, 20 miles, very comfortable upper. I was pleasantly surprised, especially coming off of the Audios lineup. I don't know, very excited about the comfort in the Audios, or sorry, in the Boston 9 upper. And okay, comfort of the midsole, uh, you know, it's it was, I, I'm gonna, okay, I'll say this much. I think the Boston 9 is a simpler shoe, okay? Not too many bells and whistles, all right? For a marath marathon racing shoe, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, it, it just gets the job done is the bottom line. So that's what the midsole is kind of talking to me. It's just, it's just gonna get the job done. Not too many bells and whistles built into the structure and even just the, uh, you know, the boost material that they put into that midsole. Now, I think my drawback for the Boston 9 is gonna have to be that the weight for a racer, it's just a little heavy. All right, there it is again on your screen in my size. I think I measured it at about 7.6 ounces, I do believe. Is that what it was? Let me just check, take note here. Yeah, about 7.6 ounces, I think. So just a little heavy for a racer. Now, question here it comes. How will I use this shoe moving forward? Okay, I'm not sensing, okay, I hate to even bring it up, kind of like the Asics Meta Racer. I'm not sensing the marathon. Now, I'll get to the price in one second as well. Um, for a marathon, I would prefer to be, let's say, at least under seven ounces. If you're gonna haul a shoe for 26 miles, like the, the lighter the better, okay? So I'm thinking half marathon, absolutely, or 
a classic tempo day shoe. All right, uh, maybe hopping on the track, do some 1K repeats, 800 meter repeats, one mile repeats, all right? Nothing crazy intensity, but I'm just not sensing that the Boston 9 is gonna be a marathon racing shoe for me. Now, whoa, stop the, stop the uh, presses here. Compared to, all right, let's talk about Pinch and Penny. Compared to the Alpha Fly, $275. Price point, price point, $90 right now from where I'm seeing it is Running Warehouse. And I don't know, I think I saw about $105 on Roadrunner Sports, but $90 for a marathon racing shoe that'll get, it'll absolutely get the job done for a marathon. But um, I will say this though, about if you're gonna race a marathon in this, I wanna make sure you know, you need to have resilient bones, resilient muscles, tendons, ligaments, I guess what I'm saying, like, I want you to have a little bit of um, experience because you're gonna work a little bit more. Uh, just because of that midsole stack height, like, you're gonna feel the pavement a little bit more. But, but, if you love ground contact feel, and I'll say this right now, who is this shoe built for? Um, or who's gonna enjoy this shoe the most? I really enjoyed today on my 20 miles. There was probably three times where I made a, a, a mental note. Okay, let's get a little bit, a little bit more up on my forefoot, on my, t you know, up on my toes as much as I can, and go from seven minute pace to 6:35 pace, and just see what it feels like. And it felt, it was fun. It was really, really fun. But I will, I just want you to know, I don't know, it, I, don't, I don't want a. I don't want a, a, somebody brand new to the sport to go run a marathon in the Boston 9 if you don't know that your body is, is built for it, your legs are built for it, because I think you're gonna feel the pavement just a little bit in the Boston 9. But again, just coming back to the price point, again, $90 versus $275, all right? Like, come on now, like that's, a, that's if you're pinching pennies and you just want a half marathon shoe, may, maybe a marathon shoe, butter my bread right there with the Boston 9. Question of the day, I don't know if I've ever asked this before, and let's just hear it, because listen, okay, with the DGR virtual races coming up on April 19th, there's about, I think there's about 70 people signed up for the marathon, I think there's about 150 people signed up for the half marathon distance. So, question of the day, uh, what would be, what, yeah, what would be your go-to half marathon racing shoe, all right? Let's go there. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve my answer. I'm not gonna put it out there. I want to hear what you have to say. Half marathon racing shoe. Because uh, uh, listen, I'm more you know in the marathon racing mindset right now. But I know there's plenty of people that uh, love to race half marathon. So if you need a half marathon racing shoe idea, hop down in the comments and go check it out. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm not giving up on Adidas in 2020, so we're gonna keep testing. We got some more Adidas shoes to test for you in the coming weeks, okay? Sound good? I hope you had a great weekend. Onward and upward. I'm gonna toss it back to the last, gosh, what was it? The last Adidas shoe right here. Last Adidas shoe that I tested out for. I don't even remember what it was, but it'll be right there for all of you. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.